What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fix That Engineer. My name is Klaus and thank you all so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, join the Klaus family for daily gaming videos and turn on those notifications. We are here on Fix That Engineer and the Super Barch has still got me going. I absolutely love it. So we're going to just start off really quickly and really hot with some of this. But by the way, don't forget that I have upgraded my members system on YouTube. You can join by using the link in the description and we're doing early access to videos ad free. So all you have to do is subscribe become a member. I believe it's only two bucks. So absolutely 100% worth it. But um, that's not what today's about. Today's about the loot. Today's about the super barch and we're going to find a base. I'll be right back. Because it hasn't happened yet. Normally, normally I'm able to delay. I'm able to be like talk about random stuff, and then I find a base in time, and I don't have to think about doing any edits or cuts or anything. But unfortunately, that's not what's happening this time. So uh, I'll be right back once we find a base that's decent enough. Not this one. All right, so we found a base. It is amazing. It's a dead town all twelve. Um, yeah. Easy peasy, right? All the loot sitting on the outside. So let's go ahead and spread the troops out very nicely. Get the archers in here too. And actually, it was funny. I logged into the account this morning and I realized I had I didn't even train any armies from the, sh the previous stream. Like, that's how often that I log into these things. So yeah, guys, if you want to catch these videos live, uh, they're always streamed. Fix That Engineer is now an exclusively streamed series. So if you want to catch them live, be sure and check out the streams. They're on DLive every Tuesday and Thursday at noon Eastern time. There are hundreds of people in the chat, and every time I decide to record, they try to distract me. So, anyway, good stuff, right? Good stuff. Let's go ahead and win the raid. I'm thinking, uh, Queen's ability, and then as soon as she loses her ability, we'll pop her- we'll pop the Warden's ability. I want to get the Dark Elixir, although I don't need it. There you go. Perfect. Let's go. There you go. So easy peasy, right? Over half a million golden elixir and a lot. Wow. I didn't realize how much dark elixir the space had. That's crazy. Loads of dark elixir on top of that. So that's that's what we're going to be doing for the next hour or two. It's going to be epic. And look at that timing. 20 seconds until our next army is ready. All right, guys. Attack number two. Super exciting. Um, over 700,000 Gold. We have an exterior wizard tower though. That's not that's not acceptable. Hold on. Let me just take that little guy out. There you go. Level one. No problem whatsoever. But anyway, yeah. 700,000 gold. This is streamer loot right here. This is something that really, and I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, it seems to be a thing, streamer loot, because I can be searching for hours like on my own without being streamed, like without streaming, and I'll never find anything like this. So this is, yeah, this is a whole... This is a whole different event that I that I think that you guys would really enjoy if it came out. If you do, for those of you that are here, you guys are beautiful people. But um, you're beautiful too if you're not here. I'm just you know just saying. So I think most of the loot has gone, but not all of it. All right. So this is a cool opportunity to maybe use our heroes to get a little bit more loot. And I don't care about the dark elixir, but I do care about the gold. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop my queen's ability. She'll get the gold out of that mine. And you know what? I'm gonna go and let her get that gold or that elixir out of that storage. And then that's gonna be it for for us. Actually, you know what? Let me think for a second. Yeah, the queen, the queen will actually be able to, no, there's nothing really of value. I was about to say she may be able to get up into the core of the space and get more loot, but there's really nothing worth getting. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out. There was no point sticking around. So. There you go. Wow. 700,000 gold and 600,000 elixir on top of that. That was pretty solid, right? That was pretty dang solid with the loot bonus. Over 700,000 elixir. We're pushing the envelope, guys. Can we do 800,000 or more? I guess we'll find out. Oh my goodness, guys. We have just found, not very long after the last attack, 900,000 golden elixir and 7,000 dark elixir. Oh my goodness. This is insanity, bro. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right, let's go. <laughs> I'm having to wrap my mind around this. Also, we're going to have to try to get the loot out of the storages as well. So let's throw in the super barbs, which are fantastic, by the way. Super barb, super barch is just beautiful. But uh, let's just see what the barch can do. I'm also going to send the. Wall Wrecker, King, Queen, and Warden in on this side as well because I want to be able to get as many of the storages as I possibly can. Oh my goodness, this was 900,000 gold in Elixir. 
And I asked for 800,000. How amazing is streamer loot, right? It's amazing. Let's pop this king's ability. Let's pop the warden's ability and poison over this queen. I'm also going to heal and I'm going to rage the CC. I don't even know what I have in there. Looks like just bowlers, which is amazing, actually, because bowlers in the CC are, are, are dominant for sure. Let's heal this. Looks like we may, we may end up missing out a little bit. I mean, like, for instance, we got the storages on the outside, but we're gutting the core. So, I mean, if we, if we keep going, if we can keep this going, bro, we are in good shape to possibly three-star this base. That would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing. I don't think we're going to be able to pull it off. But I've been wrong before. Once or twice I've been wrong. I, I, I thought I was wrong once, but I was mistaken. <sighs> that, was a, that was like a dad joke. That was a bad dad joke. Alright, so let's heal this up. And I'm not even a dad. I'm not even a dad. But okay, so the, the queen is still getting the work done. Um, looks like we have... I'm, I'm keeping these babies healed up, man. I mean, if I can keep... Oh, bar bowlers. Bowlers. Why? Why did you guys have to die? Darn it. Okay, well, I still have my Queen's ability, and we have plenty of time. We may three-star this base, guys. This would be amazing if we three-star. I'm going to go ahead and keep the Queen healed, and we're going to try to wipe out all these defenses. If I can get through all these point defenses, then we're definitely going to be able to triple this base. So, uh, you know what? Pop the Queen's ability. What's going to happen? She'll break through. She'll take out the Arch Tower. She'll likely get stuck on another wall, but then she... Oh! She's going to be a brilliant genius for once. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. She's going to break through the wall, and then she'll take out the bomb tower, and it's going to be a three-star. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Dudes, we just three-starred with Super Barch. I can't believe we just three-starred with Super Barch, and we're going to get millions of loot for doing this. Oh, my goodness. This is insanity. I don't even remember how much loot it was. I just know it was, with the loot bonus, probably over a million apiece. Let's, let's wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That's insane. That was amazing. Over a million because we made it into Crystal League 1, our loot bonus went up. We we got over a million gold and elixir, barely, just barely. And then the dark elixir was insane too. That was awesome. I don't think we'll build a top that, but we'll see. Today's been a good day so far. Oh my goodness. If anything ever deserved a like on a YouTube video and a subscribe, that was it. Oh my gosh, more crazy loot. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. It's not quite as much as the previous raid, but it's still worth showing. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Today's loot has been insane. And by the way, if you uh, look between the this, this scene and the previous scene, you'll see that we have gone crazy on the new subs for the day. There has been some very amazing, crazy, generous people in today's stream. So thank you guys so much. Wyo Storm and uh, what, Baby Juice, Megnog. I mean, all kinds of crazy people out there. You guys are beautiful. You guys are beautiful. So anyway, um, what can we do here? I've got, um, you know what? Let's just YOLO for a C, uh, oh wait, I've, I'm a tunnel 11. I can't like YOLO for a three star against this base. What I can do is try to get more storages and such, right? So let's maybe do... Yeah, all right, let's 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 lead with the wall wrecker. You gotta lead with your pudding cup, right? Lead with your pudding cup. Okay, and then uh, drop the poison. Can't really heal a wall wrecker. But I'll definitely heal and rage whatever comes out of CC. It's gonna happen now, so let's go ahead and pop the warden's ability. Looks like Valkyries, oh, that's the best. That is the very best. I'm gonna heal the Valkyries out here. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll uh, pop the king's ability. Yeah, so he's going on through there very, very nicely indeed. Let's heal right up in here. There's really no splash damage or anything. And Borden's ability right as the stupid eagle shoots. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Let's heal right again. And looks like we'll definitely gut the core, but the single targeting inferno is the, the, the wall of uh, Teslas that went off. And... Um, X-Bows and, and all that stuff that's right here is definitely going to stunt our attack, so I'm, def <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get a 3-star. But I'll pop the Queen's ability, and we'll take out some of the key defenses. Alright, this is definitely something uh, fun to watch here. So let's see what the Queen can do. If she can get rid of this Inferno, that would feel like a mini-victory. Okay, come on, Queen. Come on, Queen. You got this, Queen. You got Yes! 
Nice. Can I can I heal her or is the heal not fast enough to keep up? No, it wasn't fast enough. That's kind of a bummer. Oh well. Now if we're able to keep the warden alive, he can snipe some defenses. I mean he's got a really nice long range. I'm gonna keep the warden alive, guys. Let's see if we can get the rest of the gold. Oh yeah. Oh, stupid cannon. Dang it. <laughs> Poop, dude. Poop. All right. Well, either way, let's see what the loot has to offer. Yeah, that was still really solid. 870,000 gold. 850,000 elixir. I mean, today's loot has been just crazy. <laughs> All right, guys. So I just did a crazy attack once again. Zero dark elixir, which was odd. Uh, but the gold in the elixir was amazing. And then I, it dawned on me, I'm about to max up my elixir. My elixir is about to be maxed, so I need to do a little bit of gemming, and I can't even go to my progress base. I have no, I've got no builder. So here's what we'll do: we are going to go in. Let me see if I've got the option here. Do I? Can I get like a book of building? I can't. Okay, I can't get a book of building. So I guess I'll just have to spend some gems. Now here is the reality. Okay, the reality is. Okay, let's look at the two. Let's do a little bit of math. Don't go anywhere. This is very important. This expo, eight days, just over a thousand gems. This expo, one day, 265 gems. So it's a it's a de declining acceleration curve. Well, basically, the difference between day eight and day seven is very small, but the difference between day one and zero is very big. So if you're going to do any gemming, honestly, the best thing that you can do is gem the longest upgrade time that you have access to. So that's what we're going to do today. We're actually going to gem this expo right now. 1,123 gems. I'm going to, um, let's see, who, who can I dedicate this uh, this particular gemming to right now? We've got, we had some, we've had some really generous people in today's stream. Uh, let's, let's donate this to Wildstorm, Baby Juice, and Meg Nog. Meg Nog and W Parker for being our top three, top four um, donators so far for today's stream. So, in honor of you four, you beautiful people, let's throw this in. 1,123 gems in three, two, one, bam. And the dirty gemmer sticker flies in the chat. Just kidding. We don't have that yet. We're going too soon, though. So, um, now we need to spend a little bit of loot. First, I guess we should get rid of these bushes. Actually, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to upgrade a couple of walls. Just like, oh, darn it, the... <laughs> The builder is busy on the bush. Darn it. There we go. Okay, let's get rid of a little bit of elixir. The only place to put it is in the walls. There we go. We've opened up our storage, and now we can get to getting more loot. Guys, we just found a million elixir. Oh my gosh. I think today's video is going to be insanely long, but we keep pushing the envelope. This is insane. So let's try to get all million elixir first and foremost, okay? So I'm going to try to snipe... Okay, I can only really snipe one of these elixir collectors. So now, we're going to try a different approach with the deployment, okay? We are actually going to come in like a wave from one side of the base. From from one side, because this is where the majority of the elixir really is. And again, it's not that elixir is a top priority by any means. It's the fact that this has a million and I really want to get all of it. That would just look so good, right? That would look so good. Also, notice all these things running out of ammo. That is amazing. I love that. So we got some CC troops. They're under rage. I've still got my heal. Let's pop the Warden's ability, actually. Get through the splash damage over here. And looks like the Expos. I bet you this Inferno will run out of ammunition soon. At least I suspect that it will. Who, who knows? Let's heal over here. Heal over here. Expo did not run out of ammo, but let's see about this Inferno. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I'm going to watch you. Get rid of that ammo. Just run out. Come on. Come on. Come on. It looks so cool. Well, the best thing for um, for looks. Dang it, it didn't happen. Ah, I was bummed. I was so bummed. But looks like, yep, we are definitely going to get a three star. We're going to get all million plus elixir in this raid. And that really does push the envelope as far as it's probably going to go. We found 1.3 million loot before. But that's incredibly rare, right? So, wow. Wow. 1,080,000 elixir. That was just beautiful. <laughs> All right, guys. Final attack of the stream. And it's a beautiful one. Town Hall 10. Uh, 
shouldn't be a problem at all. We've actually gotten a crazy, stupid amount of loot this entire stream. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what we're able to accomplish as far as upgrades today. But uh, easy access to some loot in this video. Or in this in this raid, anyway. So uh, the barge will go down. It looks like we've pretty much done all the things I expected to do today. Uh, let's actually throw in everybody down in here. I'm going to poison over this CC, or this queen, sorry, and uh, heal right there in the face. I want to make sure that we keep the heroes alive as long as possible. We get into the core, take out the town hall. There's loot in that town hall. We want that loot. And honestly, I just want to finish off strong, right? This is, again, this is the last raid in this entire stream, so we want to make it happen. Let's drop a rage. CC's going to pop out. Let's also heal. I don't know what's in there. Oh, Pekka. There we go. Pekka and a few other things. Uh, Queen will actually take out that single targeting Inferno. That's perfect. That's perfect. And then we got one more heal to use wherever it makes sense. I guess right in here, right? Yeah. Nice. You know what would be... Oh, I got one more heal. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even counting right. So, uh, how... what happens if we three-star this final raid? That would be amazing, wasn't it? Wouldn't it? That'd be amazing. So, let's go, let's go heal one more time, just trying to keep the majority of the troops, the little troops alive. Queen is hanging behind, being clutch right now. She's smacking defenses left and right. It's amazing. So, Queen will take out this expo. Uh, this uh, giant actually working on the double cannon. That's about the Queen's ability, and that will definitely secure the three-star. We just need a couple more seconds. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful, guys. That's, that's what I'm saying. Super Barch. If you have the ability... I think it's Town Hall 11, right? The ability to get Super Barbarians, they're actually amazing for Super Barch. They're just absolutely amazing. So there we go, guys. With the loot bonus over... Um, hold on, I'm being distracted. There we go. Um, we, <laughs> Dude, over 700,000 Golden Elixir. That was insane. That was really, really nice. All right, so um, to, to catch you guys up, I did upgrade two walls off camera. These are these two. We just needed to open up our storages. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, come on, guys. Work with me here. Work with me here. Okay, now I've got a few wall rings, I believe, so let's go ahead and uh, use them as many as we can. I don't know how many I have. I think I've got... I thought I had eight. Oh, I had nine. Perfect. Okay, so wall rings have been spent. I'm also going to spend some elixir. Wait, 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 wait. How's your lab doing? Four and a half days. Plenty of time. All right, so I definitely can pour some loot into the walls here. Elixir. Let's do another one. And you know what? I'll hold on to the rest. That's fine. So now, what defense should we upgrade? Absolutely Archer Towers, right? It's an air targeting defense. And it's amazing. It's only 7 million gold, but it is an eight-day upgrade. So let's do it, guys. Let's upgrade this Archer Tower. Wait, I just remembered something. Very, very important. Oh my gosh. I, hold on. Yes, I have a rune of elixir. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so I need to get to zero elixir. That's what I need to do. Hold on. Let's upgrade another wall. Let's train another army. And can I maybe like stuff some elixir somewhere? You know what I can do? Probably can do like... Wall breakers, they're very expensive per capita, right? Just to store some elixir away. And then... That's close enough. That's close enough. Alright, let's go ahead and use this elixir rune. 10 million free elixir. Gotta love that. I love the runes. Thank you, clan games. Let's go. So let's go ahead and do a few more walls. We'll do one, two, and three. How many walls was that today? I have no idea, but it was insane either way. That was awesome. So now let's do the Archer Tower. 7 million gold, 4 day upgrade, in, or 8 day, 8 day upgrade. Oh my gosh, I divided it by 2 for no reason whatsoever. My brain's doing math that's not even necessary. Let's go in 3, 2, 1, bam. Alright, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that right there. And there we go, guys. That was some amazing progress today. The loot was absolutely insane, and I am very pleased to announce... Very pleased to announce that our progress is happening. Fix that engineer is being fixed. And unengineered. 
It's good stuff, right? It's good stuff. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today in this episode of our Fix That Engineer. Very excited about the progress that we made today. Who knows what we'll get up to next time. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button also if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and to join the hashtag Klaus family. Also, don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you can be one of the first to see the new videos every single day. Support your favorite content creator whoever that may be, using the creator code. If you want to support me, use code Klaus. I have provided for you guys a very nifty, a nifty link down below in the description, a deep link, so that it'll automatically input that code. All you have to do is make sure that that code, or that uh, link is being clicked on a device that has the game on it. So keep that in mind. But also remember that it disappears every seven days. So double check before you make any in-game purchases. Here's how you double check. You hit the gears button at the bottom right hand side of your screen, go to more settings and scroll to the very bottom under creator boost. Oh, it looks like mine's expired. All right, well, let's hit enter code and to input code Klaus. Bam. Dunzo Fashonzo. Guys, remember that I love each and every one of you and I'll see you all again next time.